Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve this packet tracer activity. Configure a named standard IPv4 ACLs. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA version 7 online classes or any other technical support, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. And don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Now back to this activity, uh, that is a configure named standard IPv4 ACLs. In the last video, we have seen how to configure a numbered standard IPv4 ACLs. So here it is a named standard IPv4 ACLs. Here we can see our addressing table. Coming to the objectives, part 1 configure and apply a named standard ACL. Then in part 2 verify the ACL implementation. We will go through the scenario. The senior network administrator has asked you to create a standard named ACL to prevent access to a file server. The file server contains the database for the web applications. Only the web manager workstation PC1 and the web server need to access the file server. All other traffic to the file server should be denied. So here we are going to prevent access to this uh, file server. Uh, and this uh, PC1 is uh, PC1 as well as this web server is allowed to access this file server and other uh, workstations uh, should be denied. This is the policy we are going to uh, set in this router R1. So coming to the instructions. Part 1 configure and apply a named standard ACL. Step 1 verify connectivity before the ACL is configured and applied. All three workstations should be able to ping both the web server and file server. Okay, we will uh, test the connectivity. We will get the IP address of file server. We will copy from this addressing table. Then we will uh, ping from PC1. And uh, we are waiting for the replies. Okay, it's working. Now we will uh, test from PC0 desktop command prompt ping to the file server okay perfect then ping from pc2 okay it's a pinging now we will ping to this web server uh, here is its ip address Coming to PC1, command prompt, ping to our web server, and we are waiting for the replies. It's working. Now we will uh, ping from PC0 to a web server, command prompt, ping to our web server. Okay, that's perfect. Then we will go to PC2 command prompt here we will uh, ping to web server okay it's working we verified the connectivity now coming to step 2 configure a named standard access control list configure the following named ACL on R1 in a global configuration mode we have to give this command IP access list standard then we have to give a name for this access control list then we have to permit host that is 192.168.20.4 the IP address of this uh, web manager that is a PC1 then permit host 192.168.100.100 this is the IP address of our uh, web server then uh, we have to deny other uh, devices deny any so with this access control list we permit only this uh, web manager that is PC1 and uh, a web server is allowed to access this uh, file server 
and other devices are not allowed to access this file server. We will do this configuration coming to R1. Enable conf t and here we will give the command ip access list. Here we are going to configure a standard access control list. So we have to give a standard then we will specify the name. So I will copy from this instruction because uh, scoring purpose we have to give the correct name. Otherwise we can uh, uh, set any meaningful name here. Okay, that's fine. Now we will uh, permit uh, 192.168.20.4. Also we will permit 192.168.100.100. Then we will deny other PCs, uh, deny any. In this access control list, we permitted these two PCs, PC1 and web server, uh, to access this file server. We can verify this IP address. If you go to PC1, uh, we will uh, try to go to IP configuration and here we can see it's uh, this PC1 IP address 192.168.20.4 and we permit that host. Also, we can see this web server IP address. 192.168.100.100 and uh, we permit that host also. They given a note for scoring purposes the ACL name is case sensitive. Yes that's why we copied from here otherwise we have to give it correctly and these statements must be in the same order as uh, shown here. Okay we done that. Now use the show access list command to verify the contents of the access list before applying it to an interface. Make sure you have not uh, mistyped any IP addresses and that the statements are in the correct order. We will give this a show access list command and here itself they have shown the output for this uh, uh, show command. Coming to R1, we will give end show access list access list and here we can see standard IP access list with this uh, ACL name 10 20 and 30 IP address everything correct here step 3 apply the named ACL Apply the ACL outbound on the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface. Also, they given a note. In an actual operational network, applying an access list to an active interface is not a good practice and should be avoided if possible. So, we have to give this command IP access group. Then, we have to specify that access control list name, then in outbound direction. Then, save the configuration. We are going to apply the ACL we created to this interface FA0 slash 1 which is connecting to this network. So we will do that configuration. We will go to R1 and we will do that. Once more I will copy this uh, ACL name. We will go to that interface. Conf T. Interface, uh, that interface is uh, fa0 slash 1 correct and here we are going to give ip access group then we will give that uh, acl name it's here okay then we will give the direction we'll put a question mark and uh, in out we will give your out now we will uh, save the configuration copy running config startup config Now we will go to part 2, verify the ACL implementation. Step 1, verify the ACL configuration and application to the interface. Use the show access list command to verify the ACL configuration. Use the show or running config or show IP interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 command to verify that the ACL is applied correctly to the interface. Okay, we will verify it coming to R1. Enable here we will give the show command show running config 
and uh, we will go to the interface fa0 slash 1 and we can see IP access group then ACL name out okay it's correct also we can verify uh, using show IP interface uh, it's fa0 slash 1 and uh, here we can see outgoing access list is we can see our ACL name now in step 2 verify that the ACL is working properly all three workstations should be able to ping the web server but only PC1 and the web server should be able to uh, ping the file server repeat the show access list command to see the number of packets that matched each statement okay we will test the connectivity first of all we will ping from uh, uh, all these PCs to this web server we'll go to PC1 command prompt and uh, we will uh, ping to web server we can see we get the replies then we will go to PC0 command prompt okay it's working now we will go to PC2 command prompt okay it's working just I will copy this command even we will ping from file server okay ping to our web server we get the replies now we will ping to this file server and we set access control list uh, and allowed only PC1 and web server this PC0 PC2 is not allowed to um, ping to this file server or to access this file server we will uh, try from PC2 we will uh, ping to our uh, this file server destination host unreachable here we can see packets sent for received zero hundred percent loss so we are unable to access this file server from PC2 now we will try from PC0 and here also we can see destination host unreachable now we will try to ping from PC1 and it should succeed because PC1 and web server is allowed to access this file server we will go to PC1 command prompt and uh, we will ping to the file server it's working now we will go to web server command prompt we will uh, ping to 192.168.200.100 and here we can see we get the replies now we will give this uh, show access list command in this router r1 show access list and here we can see the matches 8 matches Sure, uh, these uh, matches uh, may uh, differ, uh, depends on the number of uh, pings you given to the file server. Perfect. So in this packet tracer, we sold this uh, activity, configure named standard IPv4 ACLs. Here we can see our completion status 100%. Now, dear friends, if you get any doubt or any suggestions, you can uh, comment below or you can contact our team using our website link you will get from the description below and also if you like your video give a thumb and share with all your friends stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you